The tree reductions, tree gains campaign, uh, local name Bagyan Batang, was a motivational campaign to, to motivate farmers to reduce three important inputs they place into the rice farm that compromises their farm and make them susceptible to pests and disease attack. They are seed rates, fertilizer, and insecticides. Uh, so the whole campaign was based around using the right amount of seeds, so there is a range of seed to be used, and, and generally is is reducing the, num, uh, the seed rate and reducing the fertilizer to a certain range. Of, and in insecticides, don't spray the first 40 days of the crop. And, and in this way, they would have reduced insecticide by 50%. In, in ecology, we call it recruitment, which means when the, stock crop start, when the crop starts to grow, all kinds of animals are going to invade the crop because at first it's quite empty. And as the crop is invaded, more diversity increases. And we, in our studies, we found that the maximum diversity of predators and, pred uh, and parasitoids reaches this maximum at about 40 days, which means at about 40 days, the full composition of the arthropods are present in the rice field. And it, it's uh, counterproductive to try and spray something before this full composition of uh, arthropods are in the rice fields. Because by doing that, you would then destroy the whole system of whole uh, process of recruitment. And that's why the 40 days. The web starts building up. At the, in the first 40 days. And in the first 40 days, there is no substantial insect pest that is of any significance. Most of them are leaf-feeding insects. The rice plant is very robust. Leaf-feeding insects do not harm it greatly. They compensate. And uh, in fact, in some studies have shown that early damages by leaf-feeding insects, in fact, increases you rather than decrease you. So uh, rice plants don't need the kind of insecticide used at that early stages because they are mainly attacked by leaf-feeding insects. Well, I was uh, convinced that we, the only way to reach the millions of farmers was mass media. And I learned, of, we used to have radio campaigns which are just messages. Then I learned about something very interesting from uh, a professor uh, in, in communication, Dr. Escalada. She told me that there's something called education, entertainment education, which means you use educa uh, entertainment as a media, medium to, to educate people. So making, making education fun and uh, enjoyable and very memorable. And that's why we went into soap opera, because soap opera is entertainment. And using entertainment, introducing uh, education elements inside was what we wanted to do. For example, uh, 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 an episode could be uh, uh, a farmer spraying his crop and spending uh, X dollars spraying his crop, whereas another farmer saying, I, I, I have learned something, I don't need to spray this crop, and I save so much money. So it's motivational. And I save so much money, and uh, tonight you can come to my house and we have a drink together because I have saved some money. That kind of... Uh, uh, entertainment uh, discussions uh, over over the over the radio.